August 17th, 1941. Having lost its 1st and 24th Army Corps to the 4th Panzer Group, von Kugler's 18th Army has been considerably weakened. To make things even worse, the 18th Army could support the attack on Leningrad from the west with just its 38th Army Corps, as its 50th Army Corps has been busy over the past few weeks in advancing into Western Estonia and besieging its capital, Tallinn, in a kind of a siege within a siege. Now, von Lieb has always given strict orders to von Kuckler to disregard the capture of Tallinn and to focus on the much bigger prize. Von Kuckler, instead, has always been replying to von Lieb that the fall of Tallinn could have provided Army Group North with a decently sized port with which to improve its logistical situation. It is difficult to say who was right and who was wrong in this endless tug of war between the two, but one thing is for sure. This week, the 50th Army Corps finally moves eastwards, because this week, the 50th Army Corps finally captures Tallinn. Howdy folks, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new episode, uh, the first episode of this new week uh, and as always we start with Army Group North and you know there is no better way to start a new week uh, than just by assigning the much needed reinforcements for Army Group North. The Let's say challenge of von Manstein has been won, and now all over from Germany there are volunteers, um, let's say, willing to, to join the uh, crusade against Bolshevism on the Eastern Front. And besides the seven uh, security divisions, uh, the um, let's say. Uh, replacement army already had enough manpower to train two more additional uh, infantry divisions, which will join the ranks of the, um, I think, the f first of all, the, f the fourth panzer group, and then sec uh, in, uh, in a second time, the 16th army. And the news that, um, let's say, um, brightens the morale of, of the Germans fighting on the Eastern Front is that this week, the men of the 86th and the 96th Infantry Divisions, they captured Tallinn. And with the fall of Tallinn, the last pocket of uh, Soviet resistance in, uh, in Estonia is finally wiped out. And yes, the, the men of the 50th Army Corps can now finally advance eastwards to link up with the men of the 38th Army Corps, which this week are busy fighting and advancing and uh, securing the land um, east of uh, Leningrad. And uh, as the 18th Army is slowly but surely uh, advancing in on uh, Leningrad uh, from, the, from the west, it is now also the turn of the infantry of the 4th Panzer Group to uh, advance. And here, for the first time, I must say I was very surprised to see that the, um, the Soviets put up such a strong resistance. Um, note that these were already isolated Soviet troops, so um, I didn't have a look at the uh, battle reports for some, yeah, some, my own uh, forgetness, let's say. Um, but yeah, I was quite surprised that it took me several attempts, especially to dislodge the um, the Soviet uh, Rifle Division and the Airborne Brigade uh, north of uh, of Luga. Um, and again, so this kind of delayed a little bit my um, southern advance against Leningrad, but still, I mean, uh, it could have been much worse. Um, and so, yeah, the uh, 16th Army on the extreme um, right wing of Army Group North also kept advancing towards its final uh, objective, the uh, Mista uh, River. And here again, uh, the men of the 16th Army, uh, most likely because they were, let's say, out of command range of the HQ, um, they simply failed to dislodge the enemy. And so um, the um, 41st Motorized Army Corps had to intervene to dislodge the Soviets from the Mista River and uh, prepare the ground for the, uh, the infantry of the 16th Army. 16th Army, that as I said, is is now taking up uh, positions, uh, position behind the um, the Mista River, and um, uh, is um, yeah, let's say is preparing to dig in 
and ready to uh, settle down for the uh, future winter campaign. Oh my god, I'm already talking about winter and it's already, uh, already it's only, uh, let's say, uh, mid-August 1941. Uh, but, you know, um, I want to be very well prepared for what will come during this, uh, this winter and that's why um, I have kind of maneuvered the 16th army to be in position to dig in before the autumn rains uh, will arrive. And um, yeah, I accidentally even moved the FBD-3, even though I realized too late that it belongs to Army Group Center, but you know, fine, screw it. It was my mistake, and I said, uh, too late. Uh, I didn't want to, to re-record the same episode once again. And um, yeah, so with these folks already, I would say I'm, in the, I'm at the end of the, let's say, of this week. In, in regard to Army Group North, and as always, folks, I uh, thank you very much for watching. I thank you very much for supporting the channel. Um, as always, don't leave because um, right after this episode, there will be, uh, let's say, the the after action report of uh, what happened in the sector of Army Group Center. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh.